Hi everybody, this is my one month update. I can't, I literally cannot believe that it's been a month since I started this challenge. Um, it was only supposed to be like three weeks and it was supposed to kickstart me into 2022 just to like get me in the groove of like being healthy and like, you know, new year, new me nonsense. Um, but I've just really fallen in love with the whole challenge. It's held me accountable. Um, and I've gotten some really great messages from you guys. Um, the few that are actually watching, I, I just want you to know that I appreciate it. Um, like I said, I am just making these videos for me, like for my accountability, but like I appreciate that there's people that are actually watching them. Um, that's definitely a nice little bonus. And honestly, I, I just like have to share this because I think it was really eye-opening for me. Um, some of the people that I got messages from, they were just saying how, like basically they can relate and like how they've been, they're going through the same thing and how, especially things like the personal hygiene, how they were like, thank you for like saying that because it's something that's like embarrassing. And like, I can obviously relate to that, like to admit that oh some days I don't want to shower like it feels embarrassing or like brush my teeth it's it feels embarrassing to say um but it's a reality and some of the people that messaged me and told me that like they they were going through the same thing I would have never in a million years guessed like people that work in like senior management of these huge corporations and like teachers and like these people that face the public I'm sorry that's my kettle going off I made a Mr. Noodle before this um people that face the public and like they always just look like they have their entire life put together you would never guess that they're struggling with their mental health but like also that they didn't brush your teeth that morning or that they go home and sleep because they just don't have the energy the emotional energy to keep going. I don't know. It's just wild to me because I've always been pretty open about it. Um, so I don't think it's like a shock to people. Like when I started this challenge, I don't think anybody was like, oh my gosh, she suffers with mental health. Like I think everyone's aware of it at this point. Um, but I think it put it into perspective for me to hear you, pe you people. You people? You people, oh, you don't get to say that. Do you hear you guys like talk about this as if, you know, like I'm not the only person and I know that sounds silly because I know that I'm not the only person. <laughs> okay, I'm back. <laughs> My ring light fell. It's just a little ring light from the dollar store. Um, it's quite good, I must say. Anyways. I guess what I am trying to say is that something I gained out of this experience that I did not expect to is that we seriously are not alone in this and like that sounds so cliche I feel like it's something that everybody says um with this topic in mind but this like really put it into perspective for me that the people that you least expect could be seriously suffering and sometimes silence is the loudest. Um, but also that we don't have to feel that way. That a lot of it is within our own control. And it's easier said than done. Um, it's definitely not easy to get up and do the things. And like, I think a big part of this challenge for me too was writing down this list, right? Of the things that make me happier things that make me happy i knew those things they weren't hard to come up with like i came up with them in probably less than five minutes and that's probably a stretch and i think we all know those things i think we could all make that list in five minutes flat we know what we need to do to be happy but there's a huge difference between knowing what we need to do and getting the energy and the emotional energy to do it and I also think part of us just likes, I don't know. I think we like sitting in that space because it's comfortable. 
It's all it's what we know. In that space I'm referring to being like depression. It's easier than putting yourself out of your comfort zone and trying and potentially failing. Nobody wants to be a failure. I don't know. That. This has just been a really like eye-opening experience for me and it's only been a month. So I can't even imagine how I'm going to feel going forward with this. But I'm so thankful that I decided to do this. And I have a couple friends that have been messaging me and like Snapchatting me every day. <laughs> checking in on this journey. And I think that that's so awesome. Because they're also like on their own journey. Like we're all on our own journey. And it's cool that something that I started as a journey of self-growth and just like as a way to track my own mental health journey um, has turned into something where people that maybe I didn't talk to every day are now talking to me every day because they're going through the same thing and we're just supporting each other. I think that's really, that's really cool. Especially in times like this when Times are hard for a lot of people. I think times are hard for everybody, actually. I, like before this, I would get in a rut for like multiple weeks. And I would think, and like this is the reason I started this. I thought that my medication wasn't working and that I needed to up my dose. Or that, I mean, we all have, we know that feeling of it getting dark again. When things start to get bad again, it starts to come back, like that dark cloud is like closing on you. You can feel it. And there's usually that like turning point where you can push it away and like stop it from coming. But most of us don't. Um, for the most part, we just sit back and let it come to us. And we tell ourselves it's because we can't stop it. But we can because we have that list of things in our head even if we've never mentally or physically wrote it down it's there we know what we need to do to be happy we just choose not to we let it come in and we like feel sorry for ourselves and we just wallow in it and then we say oh i'm just in a rut nothing's going right but it's because for weeks on end we're not doing the things we need to do to be happy and we're just wasting weeks of our lives when we could be happy. We could be doing the things that make us happy. I just like look back on all of the time I wasted just being, I was gonna say being depressed, but it's not like I chose, I didn't choose to be depressed, but I chose to stay in my rut. If that makes sense, I... I mean, it's not like depression is just sadness. It's like, it's more than that. It's a chemical imbalance. It's something you can't just deal with on your own. So to say that you like are sitting in your own sadness and allowing it, to, or depression, sorry. To say that you're sitting in your own depression and just allowing it to take over. I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> it's been a journey. That's all I can say. And it's only been a month. I just can't believe the amount of growth I've experienced. Um, and I hope that this continues. Like, I hope that this isn't just a, a fluke. Um, I hope that I continue. And I'm, I'm sure that I will if I keep putting in this work. Um, but I feel, I feel great. And even the past like couple days, I've been like doing my makeup and doing my hair. I have no reason to. I've just been doing it. And that's usually a sign for me that I'm like feeling, feeling good. Yeah, because I like getting ready and I like putting on makeup and doing my hair and wearing fun little earrings. I like it, it's fun. But when I'm depressed, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do anything. 
I just want to sleep. <laughs> and I find that I like, I'm like, oh, I'm so tired. I just want to sleep. I don't know why I'm so tired. That was a big thing. I was always napping. Like I would nap on my lunch break because I work from home. Oh my God, I'm getting a phone call. I can't help it that I'm popular. That's all guys. Thank you. And I hope that you continue to watch this journey with me and join in. Let me know what you are hoping to achieve this year. And if you're going through the same things, don't be afraid to reach out because I'm here to chat. I'm not an expert, but I'm an expert at talking. I'm very good at that. <laughs> okay, bye guys.